Everybody, welcome to the next week. I want to compliment everyone on the great work they seem to be doing for the most part in the discussion boards. Just thoroughly impressed with some of the high quality discussion that's going on there. And it does seem to be based on my email traffic um, and text messages and phone calls that maybe we're settling a little bit into a routine in this course. The instructions still aren't a whole lot better, but if you watch these webcasts, um, every week, I promise they will they will help you. So this week, of course, you go through the same kind of a ritual. You need to watch this video. Um, you click on the lesson overview or work your way through these. I'll take you to lesson overview and work your way through it. Um, I really also want to thank those people who are um, trying to help each other, help other students who are struggling in the course. It's very difficult for me to get to everybody's question maybe as quick as some people would like. Usually I try to do it within the day. I'm trying really hard to make sure that happens, um, but I see that people are posting answers in the class discussion board uh, for questions, and I've been impressed by that. So thank you very much for those who are trying very hard to help other students. I'd like to give you bonus points for that if I could figure out how. Um, anyway, this week is Articles of Faith 3 and 4. Um, and uh, again, read through this material. I could take you through all this. and. And read it for you but you can read I want to keep these short so you'll want to watch them um, <clears throat> and so basically it's pretty much the same as before you've got these uh, key lesson preparation materials you click down and here uh, and they open up of course um, I know some students have been frustrated that and on the course content page that there is not a, a checkbox um, to show when you've completed things and that's just not the way they've designed this course I wish it was but I can't do anything about that as an instructor um, in, on an online in an online course, and so anyway, you can complain to me, and I will feel your pain. Anyway, so activities again, you you need to post. You make your initial post. You know how to do that. You click here. If you have questions about it, you can read this. But most people are st stating what subject they've chose to address and how to address it and then start posting you can probably I think you can go into any one of these because you've got to post they've done this three different places it probably should just say discussion board um, and then just go in here and make sure you've done four posts one initial post or a couple if you'd like um, but some reply posts and create an online discussion um, in cyberspace in uh, as the week goes along I find that just fascinating so you can click on each one of these and log in share your insights it lets you do this rejoin the conversation should take you back to the same place you were before um, you'll need to start though in number one um, again right here at number three do the same thing again here are the instructions revisit the board go back um, by Saturday night you at least need to be in there four times um, if not, you'll get docked at least 25% for each post that is missed of those four, and you will be docked probably more than that if your first post is not made by Tuesday. The reason why is that is if your post is not in there early enough in the week, there's not enough time for people to list, look at it and make a response, and, and it limits classroom discussion. So make sure there will be a heavier point, sometimes up to half. Um, so don't miss the Tuesday at midnight deadline for the first post. The others, you can post, preferably, you need to do them by Thursday, and then the last, you have everything wrapped up by Saturday. So, but the big deal in my, my grading is to get it done by the first one Tuesday night at midnight. Um, again, you've got a summary paper here to write, and it, uh, well, not this week, sorry. This week there isn't one. Hallelujah. But you have a synthesis project. I apologize. And uh, so there's nothing here. So there's no summary paper. Sweet. Um, they haven't piled on the extra work. Um, and then, of course, the end of week reporting. Make sure that's taking place. I think I've got everybody's, most everybody's binders have been sent to me or some other form. I will take whatever, um, truthfully, for the binder. But uh, at least I found out that I can. And so some place where you can keep your stuff together and then make sure I can see it or you can submit it to me a couple times during the term that needs to happen so in the way that they put it out so what I think probably what technology you feel comfortable with can be used um, but it's always good to learn some new stuff the big deal this week is the synthesis project um, if you uh, you should be working together um, your team should be together you should have used these instructions last week they're the same instructions let it load here um, but if you read them they, they make it sound like you're not your assignment is not due this week it's due this week in lesson four 
Um, so it's the exact same stru instructions repeated from lesson three. And hopefully you've organized yourself, put together a little bit of a team, and then you've figured out how to, uh, to submit your work. So you've got these two questions. Um, what world issue or problem has your team chosen to focus on and why did your members of your team choose that issue? And what consequences did the world experience today because of it? And how can a truth from Articles of Faith provide insight and understanding? You just need to answer those questions. And from the discussions you've had with your team and your group, the sharing you've done, um, you need to write a good, thoughtful paper, it says right here. There's not a required number of posts in this with your team, but please be a participant and don't be rude and let some other people carry the water for you. Be a contributor and you'll be blessed. Um, and then make sure that your response to each question should be no more than 175 to 200 words. And they've kind of limited you there. If you go over, I am not going to dock you. But uh, try and boil it down. One thing we don't do well in the church is summarize things. We get ourselves explaining the gospel to other people with lots of verbiage, lots of things that really don't matter. People, if you've been on a mission, you've known, you've known that, you've had that experience probably personally, that you've said way more than you should have. And you just need to keep things simple and straightforward. And I think that is in the spirit of it. So you need to state, um, you need to just follow these instructions very carefully. Um, you need to be stating some stuff from which article of faith and some insight. So anyway, um, so this is going to be awesome. Um, and uh, anyway, they, they keep over over and over again, they talk about you need to edit stuff down, tightening, condensing your work um, before you submit it. So you've got You've got this kind of a, a work around, work down. But when it's done, keep it simple, keep it short, keep it powerful in a simple way. Um, you're not to include scriptures or quotes in your word count. Um, no more than 300 words total. Um, and uh, this is how the rubric basically will go of how you'll be graded. Um, right here, no more than 300 words in total. Team connection to a problem or issue is, it should be less than 100 words in article faith synthesis. And they give some ideas back up in here what a synthesis is. Sorry, it's been a long day. And uh, include a final word count for each section. And submit this by Dropbox. And you should do really well. So don't stress out about it. Work with your team. Here are the basics. Work with your team. Have a great discussion. Refine your re answers and responses down to less than 100 and less than 200 words for both of these. And uh, make it clear and uh, submit it. And you'll probably get most of your points. So um, that's pretty much it for the week. So if you have questions about this, you can send me an email or post it on the class discussion board. But again, simple is the key. Simple, straightforward, boil stuff down. I'll give a couple, of, just one example. We were working a lot with missionaries in our stake and, and the young men and young women trying to get ready. And, and it's amazing. Um, the skill, one of the big skills in teaching that most people miss or lack or need to develop, I guess a better way to say it, is the ability to say things clear, simple, and straightforward. So work on that with this. And your team will help you. That doesn't mean you just do minimal work. To do that very well and communicate what you're thinking takes practice. And so the Lord will bless you. You'll find an opportunity, I'm sure, somewhere to use what you're doing um, in this week. Uh, how to use a, a, an article of faith to help solve or state a, an answer or a guidance for a real world, real world solution to uh, a gospel solution to a real world problem. Anyway, got questions? Let me know. See ya.